Since the dawn of civilization, humanity and civilization has always revolved around strong-minded, disciplined, motivated, and hard-working individuals who bring change to the world for the greater good. And then, there's Generation Z. Lazy, undisciplined, social media, video games, bad habits, and overall just really lazy. Well, that's about to change. A new wave of self-improvement changed this yeah. generation forever. However, a lot of us are still unmotivated, disciplined, unsure what to do with our lives. We want to achieve something. We want to do something with our lives. We want to achieve those goals. We want a sense of importance, but we're unmotivated. We have no motivation. We have no discipline. We have no fire inside of them. So how do you lit the flame inside of you? A year ago, I started working out, but I could have started even earlier. See, this desire came to me at a very early age, but I lacked the discipline to do so. Specifically, in December 2021, during the winter break, I wanted to start working out. However, I was unable to. Reason is, is because I lacked these two main factors that I'm going to speak about today. And these two factors are the only steps you need in order to gain unlimited amounts of motivation. Number one, having goals. You must set goals for yourself. You must set standards. You must fill your life with purpose. This category can be divided into two subcategories. One, a huge goal. Something that will take you years to accomplish, but something that is extremely meaningful and will shape your entire life. Number two, smaller multiple goals that will help you achieve your huge goal. These are stepping stones and do not require as much time to achieve them. For example, if your goal is become the greatest calisthenics athletes in the world, well, that's your big goal. It will take years for you to accomplish. And your smaller goals should be like mastering the LSIP progressions, mastering the handstand, or trying to get to a weighted dip of 90 pounds for reps, which actually is my goal right now, or trying to add 45 pounds to your weighted pull-ups for reps, which also is my goal. So you need big goals and smaller goals in order to fill your life with purpose. You know the saying, do the hard work when you don't feel like it. But without a purpose, without goals, there is no hard work, right? Let's say you want to get fit, but you don't have a goal specifically. Well, you're never going to start going to the gym because there's no reason to. What I'm trying to say is without goals, there is no hard work. There is no achievement. There is no finish line for you to get to. So there's no hard work. So you need to set goals for yourself. You need to know what is important to your life and how you're going to achieve it and how it's going to shape your life forever. Make it meaningful for you, specifically as an individual. I don't care what it is. Health, education, business, money, fitness, doesn't matter. You need to find a goal that is meaningful to you, that you really want to accomplish, and that you are willing to put everything into. Now that you have goals, what else do you need? I'm a big advocate for listening to your body. However, sometimes your mind can play tricks on us. Yes, if you're supposed to work out this day, but you're completely destroyed by a previous workout and you literally can't move, don't work out. Instead, focus on recovery because listening to your body is one of the most crucial things in fitness. But moving forwards, sometimes our mind can play tricks on us. For example, you know you're supposed to train today and you feel a little bit foggy. You don't want to go, even though you're supposed to go and your body's perfectly capable of going. So why aren't you going? Second thing to do is to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Once you set goals, there's hard work in order to do. There is a journey now. You have a journey, but sometimes our mind can play tricks on us. Sometimes our mind wants to do easier things. We want to sit down, we want to relax. You want to eat chips instead of those potatoes. You want to binge Stranger Things for four hours instead of working out, things like these. An average person would listen to their emotions. They would listen to how they were feeling that day and judge their actions and lives based on their emotions. However, if you want to be above the average person, if you want to go beyond, you got to use logic instead. Logically think using your mind. What is the best decision for your present self and your future self? Is it to sit around binging Netflix while eating chips? Or is it instead to go on the hike? What would benefit you in the future? And that's the question I'm asking you right now. If you don't start today, you will never start. One day or day one, it is completely up to you. If you want to achieve your goals or not, you're going to have to do the hard work. 
especially when you don't feel like it. Even if you have to drag yourself to do the hard work, do it anyways. Being able to ignore the excuses your mind makes up. Being able to ignore how you're feeling that day and to do the hard work when you're supposed to do it, and no matter how you're feeling that day, puts you already above the average person. So in conclusion, here are the only two things you need in order to stay motivated and to have unlimited discipline and inspiration. Number one is to have goals. Fill your life with a purpose. Without a purpose, your life is empty. You will have no hard work in order to accomplish. Your life will just be an empty shell of what it could have been. So set goals. Set a huge goal that will take you years to accomplish. That might take you your entire life to accomplish. Set smaller goals as stepping stones. Goals that will eventually lead up to that huge goal. Number two is to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Ignore your emotions. Push them aside. Instead, use your mind. Use your logic. Logically think what is beneficial for your present self and your future self. And then in the future, you'll be glad of what you've accomplished because of this. One of my goals right now is to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm only at 250 subscribers right now, and we're already almost half of the year in. So please subscribe, or I will detonate this channel right now. Watch my other videos.